What is up guys, this is Daniel, and today we'll take a look at how the Spurs run the loop play with Tony Parker and how he gets such great open looks off the three staggered screens, and how it tires out opposing point guards and gets them great looks. The play first starts with a guard doing a zipper cut to the top of the key, and then Tony Parker runs around three screens. If the defender trails him like here Westbrook does, that forces Serge Ibaka, who's guarding the last screener, to show, which gives Parker just enough time to get it to Tiago Splitter for a dunk. This play can really wear out opposing point guards as they have to run around the whole loop, and here the last screen defender shows and Duncan gets a dunk. Here Chris Paul denies Parker's path to the loop, so Boris Diaw changes the angle of his screen, Parker cuts inside, and he gets a wide open penetration to the middle, and it's an easy shot. Same thing here with Chris Paul positioning himself to deny the path to the loop, but Parker simply cuts inside and gets a layup. This play gives a lot of flexibility to Parker, and here he decides to cut it back on the first screen, and when Jeremy Lin goes over the screen, not trailing him, Parker simply flares it out and gets an open look. Similar play here as Parker goes around the first green, decides to cut it back, and then flares it out to the corner when his man cheats. And it's not just Tony Parker who benefits from this play, here Patty Mills runs around three screens and gets an open look, good screen set, and he drains it. It is a good idea to have a good shooter be the guy in the zipper cut, as this play often draws players to help one pass away and gives open three point looks to the man up top. Again, so much attention is on Parker that they'll help one pass away and here Danny Green gets a wide open look. Now, off the loop, there is another option if nothing is open immediately. They just re-screen and go into a two-man game here with Splitter and notice Tim Duncan setting an alert flare screen. They run this quite often for Danny Green and he hits an open look. Middle penetration really is an advantage on this that it is really tough to prevent that without giving up something else. Here they help one pass away and Tim Duncan flare screens, splash. Now they'll often go to the blind pig which is when the postman flashes to the top when the defender denies and they try to go back door. Here they don't get that and then they go into a two man game and Parker is adept at finding Tim Duncan wide open for a jump shot. Here Collison does a great job denying Tony Parker, really exerting energy, but then they go blind pig backdoor cut, which is pretty much impossible to stop, and there they have the shot. And this is just true poetry in motion when guys like Ginobili can throw backdoor passes like this when the defense least expects it. Or there you have it, you can see how Tony Parker can get great looks for himself and others by reading how the defender is playing him and taking what the defense gives them. This really opens the floor up, a lot of motion, and it's really a great play. Well that's all for now guys, check back for more daily videos and subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.